Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy, also known as Riot Brightman. Hey folks, I'm Andre, also known as Meddler. Today is August 17th, and we've got a lot to cover today. To start, we want to talk about an update to how we approach Ranked each year in League of Legends. We're going to be moving to three Ranked resets per year. And we want to explain these changes a bit before we hand things over to our game director, Pew Liu, who will talk a bit more about what that entails. League's had a year-long Ranked structure since the early days. Some of the details have changed a bit over time, but the core has been pretty consistent. Ranked kicks off in January, and then runs until just after Worlds in November, at which point we jump to preseason, we experiment with some gameplay changes. Now, there's a lot we think works well about that. There's a great kickoff to the season moment, there's a clear endpoint, game and esport have some nice synergy with each other, that sort of thing. But at this point, we're also seeing some opportunity for improvement. One long, gradual climb over 10 months can feel like a real grind, with a long gap until a fresh climb. There's that down period at the end of the year where often a lot of people will want to play ranked and can't. And sometimes it's just a long time until we've got the next window for larger changes to Summoner's Rift gameplay. It's also often unclear when the next you know, event or larger update to League is going to be. Now, this year you will have noticed we tried out a faster ranked climb and a mid-year ranked reset. We think that went well overall. And that there's opportunity to create more moments for gameplay changes that can tie in with other things going on in the League ecosystem. So, with all that set up, Here's Pew to talk through some more information on these changes. Hey everyone, I'm Pew, aka Pew Pew Lasers, and today I'm going to take you through some of the upcoming changes we're making to preseason and ranked splits in League of Legends. As mentioned, we're moving into a three rank split per year structure with resets between each one. This should hopefully result in more impactful games and a faster climb for each split, and it also means you'll have the opportunity to earn three ranked skins each year. Part of the change to this model is taking a look at preseason. Past preseasons have gone on to PBE in early October, giving players a lot of time to explore and learn the gameplay changes that will be featured for the coming year. The flip side is that by the time the new season starts, the gameplay changes no longer feel new. In other words, the time in which players are most excited to play with the new changes and the time in which players are allowed to and excited to start their rank climb were not aligned with each other. So this year, and in each year moving forward, we're planning to have preseason hit PBE in mid-November with an official release in January of 2024 on the same patch that ranked in esports play begins. The current rank split will stay live through November and December of this year, giving players more time to get to their desired rank. Now, this is a new approach and does carry some risks, so we're going to have to be really on top of it in terms of the balance and the meta at the start of each split. We think the trade-offs are really worth it, and we're excited to start 2024 off with a bang. If you'd like to learn more, we've got a dev blog on this topic that's live now. In terms of what's in preseason, we have a lot of changes that we're working on. We're looking at terrain adjustments to parts of Summoner's Rift, changes to map objectives, and significant modifications to the item system, some of which I'd love to share with you today. Earlier this year, we said that we weren't really happy with how Mythic items landed, and that we were open to removing the system entirely if the changes implemented didn't bring us closer to where we wanted it to be. And well, they didn't. So starting in January of 24, Mythic items will be removed from League of Legends. Trying to serve the needs of a bunch of different champions in a class with a few mythic items has proven to be really challenging. And while it works pretty well for about half the roster, the other half is left with items that don't feel really right for them or have their creativity stifled. While the mythic item tier will be removed, we will be adjusting current mythic items that players really like to be exciting options rather than prescriptive centerpieces. So that means you can go back to buying Infinity Edge with Trinity Force if you'd like. You can learn more about other item changes and everything else we're cooking for preseason when we do the full reveal coming soon, TM. Next up, we also know a lot of you have been waiting for some news on what's up for Arena after the Soul Fighter event. We're really excited about the response to Arena, and we think there's a lot of opportunity to make it even better again. Arena's debut run will end with the Soul Fighter event, as previously discussed, but that's so we can take it down, make a bunch of upgrades to it. So the game mode team is already underway on that work, and the next version of Arena will drop in early December. We're still figuring out exactly what will be in that update but we're looking at things like adding a lot more augments to give more game to game variety, improved champion viability so you can have a good time bringing a larger variety of your favorite champions into arena, some map adjustments, and ways of playing with more than just one friend. So on the subject of game modes, while we're taking arena behind the scenes for some updates, we do have another game mode that is finally giving us time to shine again. Nexus Blitz is coming back in late October for a five week run. Now we know this has been a long time coming, especially because we promised you'd see Nexus Splits in 2022, and we did not deliver on that. Now the game plays as you remember it, though with a few tweaks to account for changes since its last appearance, like the updated jungle items. On a different note, as we mentioned in a previous dev update, we're still also working on improving bot AI, 
to both enhance the new player experience and also make playing against bots feel more like a real game. We'll be having our first player-facing technical test of the new bots on PBE sometime next month. We're currently focusing our bot work on helping new players learn the game. So these bots are deliberately intra-level at the moment. We expect most of you to crush them easily, but we'd still love your feedback on how they look and feel. And check out the dev blog that just went live today for more info on how to do that. Okay, that's nearly it for us from today. Next time we talk to you, we'll cover new champions and champion updates, including Skana, who's still on track for a release early next year. Before then though, you'll also see Jax's visual and audio update, which will be revealed sometime mid to late September. And if you want more details, don't forget to check out the dev blogs on the rank changes and ongoing bot AI development. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all.